Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jin Toe. I'm hype right now because as you see right now, your boy Gento is deadly. You know what? Can I get an It's Too Deadly one time in the chat? It's been a while since I've seen some It's Too Deadlies in the chat. I'm feeling good because I'm back. This right here is basically me grinding this build. If you're following me on twitch.tv slash ymdgento. Wait, you're not following me on Twitch? What the heck? What are you doing, man? I know what you're thinking. Gento, why don't you post some? I just asked you why didn't you follow me on Twitch? I know you got another question, but why didn't you follow me on Twitch yet? There's a million of us here. We just hit 10.5 thousand, I think. Or we probably are close to it. Either or, we're gaining so many followers on Twitch, it's ridiculous. But that's basically where you go to get the most up-to-date everything. What build is this? What's going on in my life? What's... You see what I'm saying? I'm live talking to you guys in real time. As if we in the same crib, playing a game, vibing. You see what I mean? So I'm really heavy on Twitch. The support has been amazing. But as you guys see right here, I gave you guys an exclusive. I'm still going to drop exclusives for YouTube. But Twitch is technically getting more content than you because there's no way I'm going back to editing eight hours for one video. I can't do that. Nah, it's all about speed this year because I said so. So I'm gonna give you guys speed uploads, but I'm not gonna lower the quality anymore. I can't do that. I tried it, but it was like, that don't make sense. So when I wanna upload, I'll upload. But if you follow me on Twitch, you see the vibe is perfect this way that I'm doing it. It won't make sense if you're not following me on Twitch. So it's like, man, how do I break it down to you? I don't know. This game right here is just me grinding badges 100%. Don't really care about the score. They're getting waxed. Don't care about what happened. They're getting waxed. All 10 games, they got waxed. By like 60 games. Not 60 games, but you see what I'm saying? 60 points each. To the point, I'm like, when this build maxes out the badges, and I hit 99 overall, it's going to be insane. Like, let me read off some of the 99 overall stats. 99 layup, 99 dunk, 69 standing dunk, or 74, I don't remember. Mid-range will be 99, three-point will be 96, free throw will be 82, which is beyond deadly. My ball handle will be like 90 or something like that, and speed with ball, I don't have it maxed out right now, so I'm reading it for what it is, so like my ball handle's at 80, so you add four to that's 84, but it's going to be way higher than that. Same with speed with ball. My interior defense. Now, this is what I'm talking about. You got to follow me on stream to even know what I'm talking about. Interior defense or perimeter defense. Now, pay attention. I might timestamp this. Interior defense is better than perimeter defense in so many ways to the point I don't even want to give you guys the tips. But if you watch the stream, I proved it. I know what you're thinking. Oh, you're going to get your ankles broke. Bruh. If you're spam dribbling, I'm going to get broke off anyway. Unless I got Hall of Fame clamps, ankle braces, blah, blah. So if I have a high perimeter defense and don't have those badges, I'll still get broke off. So I'd rather have 25 and not even care if I get broke off or not. We'll just double team you. See the difference? I have ball IQ. I'll still contest shots, still stop you, still get my tumbos, etc., etc. Interior defense needs to be up because everybody wants to be Vince Carter in his prom. Everybody wants to be Aaron Gordon in the dunk contest, Blake Griffin, Dwight Howard. You see where I'm going with this? So, boost your interior defense as much as you can, depending on what didn't get boosted. You see what I'm saying? Your leftovers should go to interior defense. It's cheaper to boost interior defense than it is perimeter defense. Like, I have a 38 interior defense right now compared to a 25 perimeter. And honestly, if I would have wiped out my perimeter defense and then boosted perimeter defense, the most it would have been would be like 27. So, what's more important, a 27 perimeter defense? No, I can't even give you an example because 27 perimeter defense is just as bad as 25. So you might as well use the big chunk of points for interior. You see what I mean? I'm giving you guys game, but you're not watching it on stream. So you're probably going to be confused. So just pay attention though. Twitch.tv slash YMD Gento. Your boy Gento is back on YouTube. So let's focus on YouTube. Ladies and gentlemen, currently my still is an 85 and I get tons of stills. So when I max it up at 95 and it goes 99, it's not even really fair. 
my Matumbos. I have a 75 block at 99. It goes to 79, which is ridiculous. My offensive rebound, I think, goes up to 71. So 75 at 99. And my defensive rebound, I got it maxed out for my wingspan. I think I got 6'11 wingspan at 6'6. So I am a threat. Seriously. 87 defensive rebound right now. But then you add 4 to that, it's 91. That's ridiculous. My speed goes to 94. I think my acceleration goes to 92. Not sure. It's not all the way up yet, so I'm not sure. My strength. This is important, guys. I'm trying to tell you. Get your strength up. It doesn't got to be 99. It can be if you want it to be. But 50 and higher is good for me, dog. I got 55 right now. And once I get slithery on there, it's a wrap. On defense, you're not going to bully me. I got strength. Your boy ain't a punk. Vertical. Vertical is still a question mark for me. Because in my early builds, I maxed it out 95 no benefit i still get like weird animations on the drive i don't see a notice and when i jump higher or not i don't really because if you have a maxed out driving dunk it's 70 compared to 25 so some people i don't know i can't make a build with zero vert i mean i don't see myself ever doing that maybe a gentle matumbo build but i still have 95 driving dunk i don't know stamina is at 95 Stamina is one of those things where it's like you can reduce it if you want, but I burn stamina so much. Anything under 95 will be brutal for me playing gameplay wise. So when I say your physicals are just as important as your three point shot, trust me. If I go up against you and you got like a 70 speed with a 30 acceleration, they're getting cooked every play. Just pass me the ball. I'm about to embarrass you. You're going to quit before I'm done with you. Like, I see too many broken builds, and they're bragging about them having badges. Speaking of badges, I have the perfect badge amount. 12 finishing badges, 24 shooting. I did have 25, but I dropped it to get an additional, I can't remember if it was finishing, playmaking, or defensive. I don't remember. If you watch my creation video, which is actually like the most previous video, most recent, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. 24 potential badges. Right now, I only have four currently. Playmaking, I have one of 12. 12 is a good number. I know you're thinking you want like 20 to 30, but it's like, nah, it ain't that deep to break ankles, dog. Just get the takeover. Use your playmaking badges for your speed and stamina. Like badges like downhill, handles for days, bullet passer, quick first step, tight handles, special delivery, space creator, unplugable. You don't necessarily need ankle breaker but you see what I'm saying? 12 is good enough to get some bronze and silvers because all that does is boost your physicals. Depending on how you look at playmaking, I know you're looking at it, oh, I got playmaking, I'm gonna just snap ankles. No, no, no. This year, it's really for your physicals. Take that with a grain of salt because I still might want to get ankles too, but handles for days reduces your stamina loss. If you're like me and you burn stamina, handles for days is your best friend. Quick first step gives you like a speed boost. You see what I'm saying? Physicals matter. You gotta be smart with your badges. I know you could probably get more or less, but I don't need my pass rating that high, to be honest with you. So when it comes to bullet passer, needle threader, dimer, I don't necessarily need them. Relay passer, I don't need them. Defensive badges, I have 17, but I don't have every badge. Like right now, I looked at it and I don't have tireless defender. I don't always use tireless defender, so I'm gonna keep it real. I don't care, I don't have it but i wish i did just because i don't have it you see what i'm saying let me see some 17 i get four pickpocket four interceptor that's eight three intimidator that's 11. all right i got more than enough you see what i'm saying because rebound chaser if i get four that'll be 15. so yeah 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 this is good these will be the only badges i use anyway now let me wrap this up real quick guys because i know what you're thinking damn gentle you're just bragging about your build we get it you're deadly i know but some people don't believe me. This build is the best build in the game. It doesn't have a fancy name. Like, I thought, like, my two-way inside scorer was good. No, it just has a good name. Scoring machine. Call me scoring robot or something. Like, why am I so basic? My scoring machine is better than the next scoring machine. You see what I mean? Like, it deserves a better title. Let's call me the Gento machine or something like that. Gento bot or something. I don't know. 
but let me wrap this up guys i ended up asking my stream live what team should i play for and we ran a poll and believe it or not the wizards nets lakers lost to none other than the atlanta hawks so my team is actually going to be really really deadly guys like take a look at this real quick i got trey young he's deadly DeAndre Hunter could catch lobs. John Collins could catch lobs. Clint Capella could catch lobs. Hendricks Cobb can catch lobs. Right there alone. My boy Clint Capella from the Houston Rocket days, 2K19, was my best go to man. I don't know if I uploaded that many videos. I don't know if you guys seen how much gameplay when I was on a Rockets 2K19. Because I was just grinding that build. I didn't really like make a YouTube series out of that. But Clint Capella is a monster. Y'all put me back on the same team with him. I might average like 40 assists just to hurry up and get my badges because I know he's catching lobs out left and right. But with all that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you're ready for the next gameplay, the next gameplay will be my NBA debut. I already told Stream I'm going to let y'all get that exclusively. And that's going to be a live commentary like the good old days. But we're going to see how it goes. Do me a favor and slap that like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And don't forget to follow me on twitch.tv slash ymdgento. I'm on there daily, every day. From sunup to sundown, basically. Like, as soon as I wake up, I go on Twitch, knock that out. And then, you see what I'm saying? That's where I am, live, all the time. Instagram.com slash ymdgento. I'm very active on there, more than Twitter. For the first time in my life, I can admit instagram is fun but i never really used instagram you guys know i was more of a twitter finger type of person now i'm just a press record let me say what i gotta say and i'm done real easy and i gain a lot of followers off of that be sure to follow me i'm active on there twitter.com slash ymdgento24 and convos still under wraps oh i got music on apple music rick flair just type in gento rick flair Versace Ric Flair. More songs coming soon, but I'm going to let y'all enjoy those two first. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching.